Hello Pisces, how are you guys? Welcome to your reading for mid-June, hope everyone is well. Um, this is Deb's Deborah Claire Channel Guidance and this is going to be your um, love reading for this period of time. Pisces, very distracted this morning, I've been pacing around my apartment and Michael just kept showing me the image of the tower and somebody looking at their watch. I feel as if Pisces, you are either just about to close out a cycle that's been really important for you. I'm actually hearing very draining. Or you could be waiting for some exciting news. There's a sense of being a little bit on the edge of your seat. I'm, I'm seeing someone checking the post every morning. Oh, God, no, it hasn't arrived. It hasn't arrived. OK, I've got to wait. I feel, Pisces, as if your life is kind of in limbo. Um... And it's ironic because I know exactly what you mean. I've kind of been going through that thing before, that feeling of I'm just waiting and waiting and waiting. Now, this is symbolic. OK, so this could be you waiting for a relationship to take off, to go to the next level, waiting for maybe a loan to come through from the bank, waiting for confirmation that you've received your um, confirmation letter, maybe of a job. I don't know. Um, I mean, confirmation, confirmation is coming through. Um, Pisces, I think what we're going to do is delve into this and see where this goes, okay? All right, guys. Using a crystal quartz to help me connect through with Divine Source and the deck is, say it with me, Gilded Tarot, Sira Marchetti. <laughs> All right, Pisces, let's see what the Divine has to say. Archangel Michael, thank you for joining me. This is the reading for mid-June for my Pisces. What does Pisces need to know, please, Michael? Thank you. His energy is with me. I'm also hearing Archangel Shamuel, Archangel Uriel, Archangel Haniel, Archangel Sandalphon. Thank you, Michael. Okay. Oh, God. I'm feeling very um, swimmy. Mm. Michael's, Michael's showing me an image of the globe. Could be something to do with travel. Are you booking flights to see someone? Waiting for confirmation you can actually travel. Someone traveling to see you. Are you wanting to expand a business? For some of you, you could be thinking of moving. I, I keep hearing waiting to go to the next level. Really waiting to go to the next level. And there's a sense of frustration kind of a deep-seated excitement when is it going to happen when is it going to happen when is it going to happen sort of thing but there's also I have to be honest Pisces there's a tinge of fear because this might have been something you've been waiting for for a long time and you might have got into the state of mind well well if it happens it happens if it doesn't it doesn't um probably won't happen so I'm just going to carry on and do what I do and wait for the answer. Oh, temperance in the reverse. Some of you, you walked away from a Sagittarius or a Sagittarius walked away from you. Some of you are feeling as if you might want to give up. That is the energy of, you know, I've been waiting and waiting and coasting and coasting. Nothing is happening. Do I just give up with the whole thing? With the whole thing. I can see someone really angrily taking stuff out of a dishwasher, <laughs> crashing pans about, crashing cutlery into a drawer. It's never going to happen. It's never going to happen. I could just keep waiting. There's such a frustration. But tinged with, as I said, fear and a little tinge of fear and a tinge of excitement. Well, if it did happen, wow, if it did happen, you know, oh my goodness. Um... Michael's saying cut, Deborah. Uh, yeah. Michael's showing it. Somebody. Somebody sweeping things off. A surface. Dust off a surface. Pisces, are you cleaning things up? Kind of preparing for the next big shift. But there's a sense of, I just don't know if it's going to happen um, or when is it going to happen? Lost in this imagery, guys. Okay. Pisces. All right. 
Queen of Pentacles. Eight of Swords. Some of you are worried about money. Some of you are waiting for some kind of gift package to arrive that's really important. You could be very nervous about speaking your truth to an earth sign or maybe you've sent information to an earth sign and you're very nervously waiting for the response. Yes. Wow, okay. Yes. Sorry, guys. A lot of channel messages coming through from Michael. Mm. You're fantasizing, Pisces, about the next step, the next level, the next progress. Progre Michael, sorry, Michael's channeling through. Progressive cycle to begin. Ooh, okay, Pisces. Hmm. Wow. OMG. Major change and transformation. I'm hearing not much longer. Hang on in there, Pisces. Not much longer. Don't know what that means. Not much longer. Wow. Okay. Pisces, this is very clear to me. Um... And as you may know by now, my readings can be very specific. And I'm so sorry to those of you who are like, oh, I want to, he said, she said, you know, is he going to ask me out? Is he going to leave me? No, this is very specific for a male Pisces. Could be same sex. Whoever the more masculine energy is, is waiting to detach. They are waiting for a message from a karmic partner, I'm hearing, are you happy with that agreement? Are you in agreement? Can we do this now? Yeah. Pisces. Eight of Pentacles in the reverse. You've, yeah, God, this is so accurate. Wow. Nine of Wands in reverse. You've given up on a situation, Pisces, I'm hearing very, very quietly. You may have only told closest friends and family. Okay, Michael's saying not even friends. Closest family members that you are leaving a situation. You're keeping it under wraps. You don't want chaos. You don't want gossip. The reason why with the Knight of Pentacles is that you are planning a very slow, steady return to someone that you knew in the past. That you had to give a very difficult message to Pisces pertaining to the fact that you could not leave a situation. Things have changed. Things have changed. Very interesting. Underneath that, two of swords in the reverse. Yes, I've made a decision to break free with the fool. You could have Aries in your chart. You could be connected to an Aries. Yeah, no longer wanting to work on this. Wow. Underneath that, eight of cups walking away. Underneath that, justice in the reverse, the ending of a legal contract. Okay, I'm on the right track. Michael saying yes. So guys, if you're with me after that really long intro, <laughs> let's delve in and um, see what happens. So Pisces, we start off with the energy of a karmic partner, Queen of Pentacles. Somebody who may have received a document, a lump sum of money from you. I'm, I'm hearing the words, please sign on the dotted line. I'm seeing these sticky post-it arrows you know you can put on a document please sign here please sign here um i'm actually now seeing a man praying in a church wow in a pew very quietly back hunched he's wearing a jacket he's saying please forgive me okay please forgive me 
Okay, we could be connecting here with someone who had a strong religion, a strong faith. They are ending a karmic relationship that they may feel. I'm hearing they may not have had any choice but to detach from. So you're thinking about this person, Pisces. Now, this could also be someone that you are wanting to move forward towards to offer commitment to. Definitely three party situation, third party situation that's coming to an end. Eight of Swords. A lot of fear, a lot of nervousness, a lot of up in your head. Is it going to happen? I've been waiting and waiting and waiting. I don't know if it will, dragging my feet. Should I just give up on the whole thing? Am I doing the right thing? Oh God, Pisces, you're in your head so much. Wow, I'm feeling very nauseous. This has been really challenging for you. There could have been delay after delay after delay, block after block, challenge after challenge. But I feel that it's almost as if the divine was testing you, Pisces. How much do you really want this? Because we are not going to make it easy for you. We're not. So be aware. This is going to be a rough road. And I think that you almost have come to the point of giving up. But I think there is going to be, I'm hearing a very exciting, although slightly nostalgic development, which potentially is a yes, okay, yes, all right. Interesting, not a yes, I'm thrilled. So I feel this is you waiting for confirmation that a karmic partner is agreeing to a settlement. Is it enough money? Are you happy with what we've agreed now? I'm hearing the eighth draft. Wow, the eighth draft. There could have been backwards and forwards. I want this, I want that. I don't want you to take that. You can't do that. This has been a really long slog, Pisces. Oh my goodness. In the past, you met someone very special could have been a fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sag. Could have been someone that you got into a third party situation. You had an affair, Pisces. This is someone you were very attracted to. We do have a deep soul connection, possibly twin flame. But somebody that became very, I'm hearing, disenchanted and very, very upset that you were not taking action to free yourself from a connection you were in. I think this person walked away. I'm hearing, I'm hearing she gave me a piece of her mind. So there could have been an argument, a row. Somebody might have just completely cut off communication. And I feel with a page of swords after that, you might have tried to develop just a very simple friendship with this person, Pisces, you know. This is just a little tiny message. Hey, how are you? How's your day? Very blunt, very straight, nothing very emotional. You could have got a bit of a harsh message back. I'm sorry, I don't want to hear from you again. Best of luck with your life. I wish you well. Wow, yeah, there's an alarm going off outside. Wow. Okay. In your thoughts, Pisces, is fear that you will not be able to take action. King of Wands in the reverse. You could be a Pisces with fire in your chart, a fire sign with Pisces strongly in your chart, rising moon or Venus, possibly even north node. Okay. But this is someone who is fearing in their head, I'm just not going to be able to do what I want to do. I'm not going to be able to take action and move towards my Queen of Wands. True pair, divinely guided soulmate connection, possibly twin energy. Mutual attraction, somebody on your page, on your level, somebody who understood you, somebody you felt very close to, somebody you have missed and been very upset 
that you have lost contact with. I feel, Pisces, you waited for quite a while for this person to come back round. I don't actually think they did. It might have shocked you. They might have moved on. They might even have let you know, Pisces, in some manner that they forgave you. But I felt, I feel, Pisces, thank you, Michael, I feel, Pisces, that it almost made it worse for you. Oh, God, okay. They've mended, they've healed, they've moved on. They're fine with getting on with their life. It might, ironically, have been the one thing that made you realise I really do need to take control of the situation because this person is moving on. They forgive me, that's it. They may be dating somebody else. And I think then the fear kicked in. Ironically, when this person kind of said, all right, what happened happened. I forgive you, you know, wish you well kind of thing, headed off into the sunset. And you were like, holy shit, they've really gone. They've really gone. That's it. They've gone. Archangel Michael, when is the High Priestess coming in in the immediate future, please? I keep seeing the number eight. Eight, eight. Now that's the infinity symbol. That's also the energy or the number that relates to Leo. Sorry, guys. 7th of, 8th of, 8th of August. All right, 8th of August to 16th of September. There's going to be a very relevant meeting or conversation, Pisces. With a high priestess, I think you are very much in your thoughts, fantasizing about your future. There's going to be a meeting it may be very unexpected, Pisces. Or you could receive a very, I'm hearing, bland message from someone. Okay, Michael saying the Queen of Wands. So there's going to be either a shocking meetup. You could meet this person unexpectedly, somewhere you did not expect to see them. Michael saying... That you're not going to let them go and walk away this time. So if you see this person, if you smile at them, they smile back and they're beginning to walk past you. You're going to stop and say, can I talk to you? Can I have coffee with you? Can we just have five minutes? Because I want something, I want to explain something to you. Ironically, Pisces... What this person may fear or maybe be excited about is that you are going to relay that you will be leaving your karmic partner or it's already happened. Pisces, I don't think you're going to say anything at all. High Priestess is silent. So it could be very frustrating for your person that you give them no information whatsoever about the fact that you are detaching from this karmic partner. It could simply be that you want to apologise for the way things were left, for maybe a lot of hurt, a lot of upset, a lot of disruption in this person's life, because they're sat in the Ten of Swords in the reverse. I feel, Pisces, they're going to say to you, I've already healed, it's okay. I did feel betrayed. I did feel flawed for quite a while. It took me a long time to sort myself out emotionally, but I did it and it's okay. I will never forget what happened. Never. But it's okay. What I feel you're doing, Pisces, is that you are trying to work out whether or not the spark is there between you two, whether or not there is any indication that this person is still interested in you, attracted to you, wanting to move forward with you potentially. Although I don't feel, Pisces, there's going to be 
a lot of conversation about that, I think you're going to be wanting to pick things up intuitively. Is this person smiling? Are they looking at me as if they want to, you know, <laughs> um, hurt me? Are they, is their demeanour soft? Are they angry and bitter underneath everything still? You're going to be assessing the situation on a psychic level and a very intuitively, intuitively led level. Sorry, it doesn't make sense. You know what I mean, guys? You're not going to say anything about your situation. Now, I have to say, Pisces, this could be very frustrating for this person because they're not after maybe after a lot of pain and upset. They're not going to be very happy if you just sit on the sofa and look at them and don't say very much. After everything that's happened, they're not going to be really happy with a very shallow conversation about, you know, uh, how's your family? How's your work? You know, is everything OK in your life? Um, hope you're well. Have you been well? No, Pisces. This person is going to be sat there looking at you straight in the eyes as if to say, I just want the real facts, Pisces. I do. I want to know your situation. I want to know your feelings. So Pisces, be careful that you don't expect this person to re relay a lot of information to you about how they feel, about their life, what they've been doing, who they've been dating, you know, so you can gather information and sit there and not say anything. Because they're going to want to know. This isn't going to bode well because this is not saying anything. It is equal give and take, Pisces. You will need to give a little bit of information. Even if you don't want to tell this person exactly what you're doing, there does need to be a flow of conversation because this person was very, very hurt, flawed for quite a long time. And with you finally, maybe after a long period saying, let's talk, they're going to be thinking, OK, well, the truth is going to come out now. The facts are going to come out. And if you sit there not saying very much, Pisces, because you're trying to glean how they feel for your own benefit, they're going to get a bit pissed off. I'm just going to say it, right? You're going to need to be comfortable with opening up a little bit. What you're fearing with the magician in the reverse is that you cannot manifest this person back in. It's kind of over and done with. It's something that you may have to leave in the past. You're very worried about that. Because I do feel, Pisces, that you are taking control maybe finally of a situation that drained you. And you're wanting to know whether this person is potentially still in love with you, would consider moving forwards with you if you spoke your truth, maybe in a few months after this period of time. For now, I feel, Pisces, you're wanting to get information from this person. Can we have an amicable conversation are they looking at me as if they just want to knife me? <laughs> Does this person look at me as if they still love me? You're desperately wanting information. But you're not going to be feeling comfortable in expressing a lot yourself. So just be careful of that energy. Because the Queen of Wands is a sort of queen who will say, OK, well, if you don't really want to tell me what's going on, um, bye then. And she will just walk out or she will ask you to leave or something like that. This is a woman who has never forgotten what she went through. She's still sat in the ten of swords in the reverse. Yeah, she might have healed. But this is a woman who has never forgotten. What you're hoping for with a nine of swords is to come out of feeling stressed. Stressed that the karmic partner will maybe not agree to the settlement Finally, I keep hearing eighth draft. Fearing that your queen of wands is not going to take you back. Maybe it's been a long time. Could it be years? I don't know. But what do we have in the future but the death card? 
this is you eventually, finally, ending a cycle hasn't been easy. You could be very well heading towards a Scorpio. The Queen of Wands could just be the energy of a fire sign. Somebody who stands up for themselves. Somebody very attractive. Somebody you feel on the same page with. But death is transformation. And I feel the transformation is your karmic partner agreeing finally to this settlement. So you can actually now move on. It's been tough, Pisces. Five of Wands. There's been a lot of arguments, disagreements, maybe family members getting involved. A lot of internal struggle in making this decision. With the Eight of Wands in the reverse, there could have been intermittent blocking. I don't want to talk to you. I don't even want to see you. No communication for a period of time. With the Queen of Swords, who I'm feeling is also the Queen of Pentacles, you could be connected to an air sign or an earth sign that you're leaving. This is a woman who was extremely angry and upset. Very angry and upset that you chose to leave this person behind. The Hanging Man. This very angry karmic partner kept you waiting, stuck and trapped for a long time. Maybe out of revenge, maybe after, you know, thinking about things, wanting to be tactical about this. Okay, well, if I make it really hard for my Pisces to leave me, there is no way that this Queen of Wands, the mistress, is going to take them back because it would have been way too long to wait. Strategic. Maybe hoping, Pisces, that you would give up the fight and stay in the commitment. But what is also standing out to me very, very clearly, Pisces, there is not one Cups energy here. There's not one card of the Cups family. No love. You know that potentially you and your karmic partner have no love for each other anymore. There is an indication this was a financial situation, predominantly for maybe most of you that resonate with this. You also have no idea whether or not your Queen of Wands loves you. Overall energy. Squeaky chair, sorry guys. Overall energy. Ace of Pentacles in the reverse is an amount of money that you will need to lose to agree this settlement. Nine of Wands in the reverse, finally giving up the struggle. Okay, I would agree to give you this amount of money. You know you have to lose this. Knight of Pentacles, the money will be coming in X amount of time on this date. Now, this is also you maybe feeling you need to give up on offering this Queen of Wands the start of a connection. This could be a warning, Pisces, because with the Knight of Pentacles, you could be ready and waiting to do this. But this conversation is crucial. If you sit looking at this person saying absolutely nothing, all they're going to do is say, well, you hurt me, but I healed. I picked myself up. I moved on. That will be the end of the conversation. You may never see this person again, Pisces. So I feel actually within this whole reading so far, the biggest message coming through is you need to open up. You need to actually have a conversation about what's going on. Even if the conversation, Pisces, is I don't know if I ever want to commit to anyone again. I don't know if actually... Uh, I never want to get married again, or I never want to live with anyone again. This person deserves to have a little bit of truth and to know your situation. Because I feel, Pisces, you're the one that will turn around and want to have that talk. And if you don't talk, this person is just going to get angry. Why did you say after all this time, after all this hurt, that you want to have a quick chat with me? And all you're saying is, 
Oh, well, I'm sorry about what happened. Well, yeah, they know that. They've healed. It's almost as if this person would feel it would be a slap in the face if you just sit next to them and say, well, yeah, I just wanted to apologise for what happened. They know it, Pisces. They'd be waiting for something else. The truth. Because I feel that this might have happened a while ago and they are still thinking about what happened. They are still thinking about you. Yes, they've healed, but this might have floored this person for a long time. You may have not had any idea, Pisces. And out of respect, you need to open up a little bit to this person and maybe explain a few things. If, if, you are potentially in the future wanting to develop a connection with them. If you do not open up, I feel the result is yes, you will transform your, your life. You're going to end a cycle with this Queen of Pentacles, Queen of Swords energy, your karmic. You're going to end it. Sure, it's over. Money will be given. But you may finally realise that this person, this Queen of Wands in reverse, lets you go. It may be the shock of your life that you've gone through this really long battle to disconnect from this karmic partner. And with this little conversation where you stay silent and don't say anything of any value, you may lose this person for good. So this is a crucial moment, Pisces. You need to think about what you're going to say, how you're going to say it. Maybe think about the questions this Queen of Wands is going to ask you to have the right answers, because there will be questions, Pisces. If you sit there and don't say anything, it's game over. There is an indication that you could lose this person for good. I feel this is a warning, Pisces. Now, as we always do, Let's see what else comes through. Archangel Michael, what is the energy of the Queen of Pentacles? What is the energy of the Queen of Pentacles? I think this, this karmic partner's calmed down. I think there was a lot of anger and upset that they went through Pisces. With you saying, I want to end it. I think there was a lot of anger and upset. But I feel she's calmed down now. Because ultimately, she may know deep down the love wasn't really there anymore. It might have been a very impractical relationship. Fraught with drama and conflict and jealousy and issues and secrets. And she's now realising she's going to get a lump sum of money to enable her to start again. Wow. And we have the ending of a legal contract, justice in the reverse. Yeah. Ending of a legal contract, Libra energy. With the Wheel of Fortune, you two haven't quite moved on from this connection. There could be a few things you need to tie up, but this is over with the world. Both of you are thinking about your new lives. And with the energy of the Seven of Pentacles, you may be reviewing the finances that you have left, Pisces, or your karmic partner is knowing that whatever she is being given will enable her to move forward and start again herself. Archangel Michael, what is the King of Wands in the reverse? This is you really worried that this Queen of Pentacles is not going to sign those papers She's not going to agree to what you have offered because I have a feeling, Pisces, this is kind of the end of the road for you. If she will not agree to this, I think you are almost ready to chuck in the towel. But I think you will agree. I think you will. And I think you've been that way, Michael, thank you, waiting for this person to reach out to you. You could actually live separately or even in separate areas to tell you that she's agreed to this settlement. You're trying to remain positive, but it's very, very difficult. Because I think you're ready to, to kind of just say, okay, well, if, if this isn't agreed upon, 
I'm just going to leave the whole thing. So you might have been checking the post every day. You might have been looking at your emails every day. Has it been agreed? Have they signed on the dotted line? Yeah. Seven of Wands. Yeah. You've been through a battle, Pisces, standing up for this um, decision against other people, family members. You are also protecting yourself a lot more now. No, I've made my final decision. This is it. This is it. I'm hearing you're not getting any more money. Okay. Six of Wands in the reverse. You don't feel very good about things, Pisces. Your karmic, in, in the nicest sense, could have found out about this third party situation, was very angry and upset. You might have fallen off the pedestal that your family put you on, your partner put you on. Three of Wands. Yeah, you're waiting for a message from someone else. Can I move forward? You're wanting to turn your back on the past desperately. But with a Six of Cups, yeah, there could even be children involved. Or you could be dealing with somebody childish. You are wanting to hear back from this person to say, are we go now? Can we just get this thing finalised? Five of Cups in the reverse. You're trying to remain positive. Because I feel that for you, it's kind of make or break time. Five of Swords in the upright is, I am fighting for this. I'm fighting to detach. I'm fighting for my freedom. I just want this over and done with. You don't have any fight left in you at all, Pisces. It's just, I am exhausted with the situation. I'm ready to give up. Now, ironically, Pisces, if you make that known to your karmic partner, I think the tables may turn. I think after being very angry and upset and maybe not wanting to accept this, she's now looking at receiving a, quite a large amount of money. And she's feeling that if you suddenly now give in, throw in the towel, say, OK, let's not do this, let's not divorce, I'm going to keep the money, she may suddenly get nervous, realising that she might have been quietly thinking about what she could use that money for in the future. I could buy my own home, I could start my own business, I could relocate, right? I could upgrade my life. So I think now she's ready to play ball Pisces because, ironically, the energy that you're giving to her is, I just can't fight anymore. If you don't want to do this, okay, all right. I'm not pushing anymore. I'm not stressing anymore. I'm not chasing you every day for your decision. So if you don't want to do this, okay. She's now worried because she is looking at losing a large amount of money that I think you have potentially legally agreed upon. So I think she's going to play ball now, Pisces. What is the High Priestess in the immediate future? I feel that there's going to be a conversation with someone. Um... I think you're going to relay the unhappiness that you felt in a situation. You may say the relationship has ended with your karmic partner, but you may not say that you've actually divorced or that you've sold a house. You may not give the details, Pisces, because the queen, sorry, the high priestess, male or female, does not give a lot of information you may say to this person i don't know what i'm going to do now i don't know if i'm going to leave the area i don't know if i'm gonna you know carry on in this job that i've got but i just get this feeling pisces that you're yeah wow cars are flying you're not really i'll pick it up in a minute guys you're not really wanting to relay an awful lot which could be a little bit frustrating for this Queen of Wands, who I'm very much feeling is sitting in the Ten of Swords in reverse. They're just looking at you as if to say, I am in, I'm in so much pain still. I have healed from it, but wow, you know, God. There's going to be Definitely conversation around, I'm hearing, I'm sorry, um, things have changed, my situation's changed, I may be looking at leaving the area, but I don't think, Pisces, you're going to relay any information pertaining to the fact that you might be going through divorce 
or something that is very specific that is actually possibly what this Queen of Wands really wants to know. Okay? Wow. Page of Cups. There we go. This is initially, I'm sorry, but with the Four of Pentacles, you're not saying very much. You may relate to this Queen of Wands that you're hanging on to your money. You might have lost money. You could have lost a job. You might say you're just rebuilding your finances. Two of Swords in Reverse, you're definitely opening up to this person. But I'm hearing there's going to be no specifics from you. Nine of Cups in Reverse, you're going to say to this person you were terribly unhappy. You were in a situation that wasn't working out. And you've been working tirelessly to sort out your money. You may say that you had to sell a property and you had to make a very serious decision in whether or not you wanted to stay in an area or move on. You may say with the energy of the Empress, it was very difficult for my karmic partner. We were going through a lot. But I don't think you're going to elaborate Knight of Swords in the reverse. With the energy of the Hermit, you're going to keep a lot inside. You may also be saying to this Queen of Wands that you have been doing a lot of reflection. You've kept yourself kind of in isolation. And you've been thinking about what you want for the future. Now, this person is going to sit and listen to all this and go, well, yeah, but what are the facts? Why are we here? Why are we having this conversation? Yes, I forgive you. I've moved on. It took me a long time, but I did. Why are we here talking? What do you want to actually say to me? That you've now getting divorced? That you're moving to a different country? That you're wanting to reconnect with me? That you're wanting to find out if I'm still interested in moving forward with you? This person is going to have a lot of questions, Pisces. So they're not going to be dealing with a little bit of elusive, yeah, things have been tough and I'm really sorry. Things have been difficult. Well, what has been difficult? Why are you here talking to me? I'm getting that. What is this person's energy? What is the Ten of Swords in the reverse? This person has been trying to heal. I feel as if they have been in a situation where they might have dated. They might have dated a few people, but they may not have felt that they had the same connection with those people that they did with you. And so this person may be for all internal, all in, um, intense, is it intensive purposes? I think so. Um, kind of been dating on and off, but nothing serious. Because I have to say, I still think they are thinking about the fallout of actually what happened. has a lot of energy to it. <sighs> Very intense reading, guys. Sorry, it's a long one. The star, Aquarian energy. This person has healed. They may have had to lean on their inner reserves to heal, to get through this. They do know that they had to pull themselves out of a situation that was very toxic. They could also have just moved away from a connection with a Capricorn because with the Four of Cups, they weren't really interested in that person. They might have had people offering them love, wanting to, to connect with them. I feel this person remained single, maybe concentrated on their finances because they were still, in actual fact, dealing with the aftermath of the tower that was you. Now, they may want to ask you, have you actually got divorced? Have you divided the assets? They may come out with that. You may need to think about what you're going to say. Because with the Two of Cups in reverse, they feel as if they've lost someone that they had a very strong soul connection to. They're wondering whether or not you want to be just single Pisces after this, whether or not they should take a leap of faith with you. Page of Pentacles in the reverse. Have you signed divorce papers? Were there children involved? If this person didn't know, 
whoever this is, Pisces, is a true soulmate. I mean, you would be coming through as maybe the King of Cups in your usual element. This is the Queen of Cups. We also have the King of Wands, the Queen of Wands. This is a very deep connection. But this person is ready to turn their back on you, Pisces, and give up. No longer coast, no longer wait. If they don't get what they need from you, which is what is really going on, why are we having this chat? They're ready to finally give up on this. They may never have totally given up on this in the past. They may have been waiting for you to come back to explain your situation. But I think this is going to be the conversation. You two will either agree to take things really slowly and to see if you can rebuild some kind of relationship, you know, or I think that you two will finally part but Pisces, if that's not what you want, because you're sitting there quietly behind the scenes with the Knight of Pentacles energy waiting to offer this person some form of stable commitment. It might be that you need to think very carefully about what you say to this person, because they have reached the point when they're just so ready to give up. They gave up before you were connected to somebody else. If you don't op open up and express the truth, it's kind of game over. Now, Michael, what is the energy of death? This is major change and transformation, guys. I feel that you may... Wow. And I've got to pick up the one on the floor in a minute, guys. May want to take things very slowly. Okay. I think whatever happens, you're going to be finalising the situation with your karmic partner. You're going to be tying up the legals I'm hearing and I think you're going to finally break free I do think Pisces you are going to contemplate taking action to try and get this Queen of Wands back into your life yeah you're going to take control of the situation but I feel that there may be another conversation in the future where there's going to need to be a very serious sit down chat. You know, I do feel, though, that Pisces, after all of this, you're going to be in a much happier place, much calmer place. You're going to be viewing the situation in a very different way. I think you've learned a lot of lessons and I don't think you're going to be rushing forward but there could be there could be needing to be a conversation about how is this really going to work between the two of us now. So this is the initial talk, the initial chat. You may not want to relay that you're going through divorce or you've just got divorced or you're sorting out the final money, I don't know. Let's just see. Okay, guys. Wow. Oh, my goodness. Okay. Yeah. Okay. My goodness. Pisces. Three of Pentacles. Yeah. Rebuilding your money after a loss, a large amount of money that you were going to lose. Okay. Have lost, will lose. You're going to be reaching out a little message to your Queen of Wands. You're going to, at last, maybe finally admit that you have ended a long-term situation. You're now completely free, and that's the truth. Five of Pentacles in reverse, you may relay that you're trying to build up your finances, and you're trying to get yourself into a calmer place. You may relay that you have still got some legal documents to tie up, but you may be quick feeling you may be keeping very quiet about your emotions for the Queen of Wands. Your toe is just in the water. You're not totally opening up because I feel Pisces, you may be needing to heal from the ending of this karmic situation, but you are planning on taking action. Moving into the energy of the Emperor, Aries energy, offering love with a Knight of Cups and a passionate new start we have the sun, Leo energy. This is happiness. Wow. Enlightenment, forward movement. 
you could be saying to this person, look, I don't know if I ever want to marry again. I've been through so much. Would you be, would you want to consider in the future when all this is done, we've healed, I've got myself back on track. Could we live together? That's my living together card. You know, the lovers, because I love you. Would that be agreeable to you? So for you cross watchers, you may need to think about that. Because I feel this person has been through the mill, and by that I mean Pisces, you've been through the mill. Whichever mill Pisces I'm connecting with. So guys, thank you for bearing with me. It was a very intense reading. It was very specific. I'm sorry for those of you who that absolutely does not resonate with, but you can see how clearly this message came through. Definitely for maybe one or two of you. So Pisces, take care of you. Sending love and light your way. Many blessings. For those of you who feel this is your reading, you can reach me for a private reading via my website, debraclair.com. Details below in the description box. I'm also on Instagram and I shall leave it there. And I shall see you very soon for your next set of readings. Bye now.